Madam Toastmaster, mm -hmm. ladies and gentlemen, in the corner of my garden, beyond the garage, is my willow tree. Its branches soar into the sky, as if to say, one day, I'll reach you. No heaven is too high for me. Its delicate leaves form an intricate lace parasol, as if to say, come, sit by me. No summer's day is too hot for me. And that was my willow tree, and is my willow tree. But two years ago, on this particular day, I drove my car into the garage, and ahead of me, I saw something that I did not recognize. An empty space. And there where my willow tree stood, it was no more. There was just No branches to crown it in glory, no leaves to embellish it, just a stub as a reminder of the rude axe that had cut off its life. Who, 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 I raged. And my cleaning lady shuffled from the kitchen out and said, oh, madam, madam, sorry, uh, the, the neighbor's gardener, madam Rania's gardener. I had the answer I needed. I had the target at whom to spew such rage. And rage I did spew. Rania cowered in front of that force. She said, well, Aline, sorry, but uh, the leaves were falling on my pool, so I told the gardener to cut a little bit, just a little bit. By what definition of a little bit was this beheading of my tree? By what definition of being a gardener, a carer of things green, was this act? By what definition of neighbourly love was this crime? And indignation seeped into me. I was besieged by the rhyme of indignation. How could she? How could she? Perhaps it is a rhyme that you use as well in moments of pain, of disappointment, of frustration. How could she? And then righteousness crept in. The lyrics of righteousness. I would never do that. I would never do that. Perhaps you know those lyrics of righteousness yourself. Do you ever say, I would never do that? I called my gardener, Agustinos, hoping that there would be some remedy as quick as a swipe, as quick as a click. But he instead he said, be patient. It will grow. Let it be. Meanwhile, look after the rest of your garden. You see, Agustinos was a man well versed in the wisdom of the garden, which is why so many of our neighbours employ Agustinos. If only Rania had employed Agustinos, I wouldn't have this story to tell. And so I took his wisdom to heart, and I did look after the rest of the garden. I planted geraniums in my pot, I adorned the window sills with petunias, and I called the painter to put on a fresh coat of shiny varnish on the fence around the pool. And a few days later, Agustinos appeared on my doorstep. He took off his hat and wiped his sweaty brow. He dropped his gaze and he said, your painter and swallowed the words he could not utter. Your painter, while painting the fence, he slashed the ropes that held Helen's hedge up. 
Helen's hedge collapsed, broke. There is nothing left of it. You see, Augustinos was also Helen's name, Helen's garden, my neighbor. I could not believe what I'd heard. Helen, who so much enjoyed having her morning coffee by that hedge. Helen, whose pride and joy was that hedge that was the tapestry of nature, delicate leaves and delicate peach flowers had gone. And then the rhyme of indignation besieged my head. How could she? How could she? Well, that was the answer. I had done the same. That is how the lyrics of righteousness came back to me. I would never do that. I would never do that. And yet I had. I had ruined somebody else's garden and caused pain. And that is the lesson that my garden taught me. And now in moments of pain, frustration and anger, when I say to myself, oh, I would never do that. How could they do that? I sometimes remember the lesson of my garden, that I too, under perhaps different circumstances, but that I too could do that, cause pain, cause frustration to somebody else. Because I too am human. Are you?